Giacoblo Cori Olanya's triumph was a climax of an exercise that started mid-morning with nominations of three candidates. I move under rule 9 of the rules of procedure in the Parliament of Uganda to nominate Honorable Jaco Olanya. The Chief Justice, Alphonse Owen Dolo, chaired the session. Voting and tallying of results were conducted in the presence of the president. I therefore now declare Honorable Jacob Lokore Olanya as the speaker-elect of the 11th Parliament of Uganda. Upon declaration of results, Olanya, who garnered 310 votes ahead of the two challengers, took oath. I, Jacob Lokori Olanya, swear in the name of the Almighty God that I will at all times well and truly serve the Republic of Uganda in the office of the Speaker. President Yoweri Museveni, who had observed the exercise from morning, handed over instruments of power to the new Speaker of Parliament. Upon assuming authority, this was Olanya's pledge. I hope and pray that the guidance and decisions we'll have opportunity to make in the next five years, will make us truly deserve the overwhelming confidence you showed in electing me as Speaker of this 11th Parliament. Kadaga, who had considered defeat, declined in a media interview. <laughs> Members of Parliament who had supported different candidates also spoke with one voice for the development of Uganda. Those who have been supporting the uh, right Honorable Jacob Bolanya and those who have not uh, supported him, I know he's such a person who can unite the house. So to me, I'm grateful. For me, I'm grateful that all that is done and it has gone well as far as the NRM party is concerned. What remains right now is for us to go for induction. Why induction is to know what is expected of us as members of parliament. But fundamentally, we need now to champion the process of developing of our country. As for former Speaker of Parliament, Rebecca Kadaga, this is what the MPs said. The right Honorable Kadaga should not be a bad loser. I was happy that she came and congratulated the right Honorable Jack Bolanya. I just hope that that was in good spirit and she should keep it in that positive Way. Let's respect the decision of the political party. Uh, we individuals are members of political parties. And of course, the decisions that are made by our political parties at any level must be respected. Olanya's ascension to the speakership and election of Anita Among as deputy speaker completes the composition of the 11th parliament. Henry Okrut. You'll be seeing.